For x being binomially distributed with a number of trials n and probability of success p, find the probability generating function and find, hence find the mean and the variance. Hence means, therefore, we must use the probability generating function to find the mean and the variance. So if x is binomially distributed m p and q is equal to 1 minus p, g of t, the probability generating function, is the sum of all x of the probability of x is equal to x for t to the power of x, and g of t is equal to e of t x. So g x of t will be equal to e of t x, which is the probability of n c k p to the x q to the n k times t to the x. Now taking that t and putting it with the p, we get from k is to 0 to n of n c k t p all to the x q to the n minus k. Now we recognise this as a binomial expansion and therefore we, this will become tp plus q to the power of n. So the probability generating of a binomial distribution is t times the probability of success plus the probability of failure all to the power of n. Now we can now use this to find the mean and the variance. e of x is g dashed of 1 but g of t is tp plus q to the power of n so g of dash of t will be n, right down the bracket, tp plus q to the power of n minus 1. Differentiate the bracket, you're going to get p. So we've used the chain rule here. g dash of 1 is going to be n of 1 p plus q to the n minus 1 times p. Now p plus q, by definition, is equal to 1 the probability of failure and the probability of success are both equal to, if you add them together, they have to be equal to 1 for binomial distribution. Therefore, we're just going to get 1 to the power of n minus 1, which is 1. So we just end up with mp, which is what we expected for the variance of a binomial distribution. Now, if we did g double dashed of t, that now means I now bring n minus 1, so I have n times n minus 1 tp plus q to the n minus 2. I'd have to differentiate the bracket to get another p times p, which is p squared, using, again using the chain rule. g double dash of, two of 1 will be n of n minus 1 of 1p plus q to the n minus 2, p squared. But p plus q is equal to 1, 1 to the n minus 2 will also be 1, so we're going to end up with n, n minus 1, p squared. Now the binomial, uh, sorry, the variance of using the probability generating function is the second derivative of 1 plus the first derivative of 1 plus the first derivative squared. So that's going to be g double dash of 1, which is this, which is n times n minus 1p squared times the g dash to 1, which is mp, minus g dash to 1 all squared, mp all squared. Now there's a common factor of np that can come out here, and we're left with n minus 1 times p plus 1 minus mp, so the common factor of np. So the variance of x is mp brackets n minus 1 times p plus 1 minus mp. Expanding this bracket here, we're going to get mp brackets mp minus p plus 1 minus mp. Obviously that mp and the mp will cancel out. And you're going to be left with mp times 1 minus p. And 1 minus p you recognise as q. So we get the variance of npq which is what we expected.